Look at my kingdom and tell me what you see. Yeah. What's up, guys? I was going to wait till Matt was done yeah, crinkling to start recording. Wait. I know, but I wanted to show them, you know, what I have to deal with. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? Blake Jameson here. Pre-recorded video for tonight, Friday's video. Because, as people that have been following along know, my laptop is gone. And sadly, it doesn't look like I'm going to get it back. And Matt let me use his laptop uh, today, which is awesome. Getting to get back on the computer was nice. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome. Uh, however, uh, I'm heading home at about eight and uh, I won't have a laptop. So, doing a pre-recorded video. We're doing it all in one take, one take, Blake. And just gonna give you guys a little bit of an update and tell you what else has been going on. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, last night after the stream and a lot of today, I spent working on my new card, Mariano Rivera. I teased it last night. It is over there on the wall. There's a quick sneak peek. Submitted to Tops. Now, the art that I paint gets a little bit of uh, graphic design kind of on top of it, taking some elements from the original card. So the card that Tops is releasing, which happens on Tuesday, will be a little bit different than that piece of art that you probably just took a screenshot of. <laughs> but it's gonna be close, and it's gonna be awesome. And it may or may not be wearing a fanny pack. What? So, Wait, let's see. That's some, that's some pretty big news. That's some pretty big news. Yeah. Uh, let's see here, what else? Um, we shipped a lot of uh, like gifts and black autos and things. I um, just got back from the US. I can just wait to do that. Yeah, Yeah. that's fine. You can put them back there, it's whatever. Uh, yeah, so that was good. Uh, Matt, uh, or sorry, Andrew and I have gotten a little bit closer on a business bank account. We had a lot of hurdles over the last uh, week Actually, how long have we been working on a bank account? Two or three weeks? I think it's three. Three weeks. It's tough. Three weeks. You would think it's pretty easy to give a bank your money. It turns out it's not. Um, setting up a new business bank account requires, uh, you know, there's a form to fill out online, which they all say you can do it, and then you do it, and then they need more information, and then to give them more information, you have to call, and then you call, and because of the current COVID situation, uh, they've allocated all business banking resources to other branches, and so it literally just hangs up on you and there's not even a voicemail. Um, so we failed with uh, Wells Fargo and Chase. We're, we're like halfway through the process with Wells Fargo, but it's just taken forever. And um, someone on Twitter recommended Bank of America. Now I know a lot of people, including my mom, shout out mom, recommend a smaller bank or a, I'm gonna go in another room. Matt's having trouble being quiet. He's finding all the loudest things to play with. Shout out to it's fine. Seafood. Shout out to Astoria Seafood. Matt got us dinner tonight, which is awesome. Salmon. Uh, so, anyways, um, could work with a smaller bank, credit union, whatever. But we're also trying to set up like some pretty intense stuff in QuickBooks with like payroll and whatnot. So, I don't know. Um, like for example, on our Bank of America account that we've now applied for, there are, um, we like are paid extra for an account that has extra features within QuickBooks or something like that. I don't know, Andrew's handling that. Anyways, we're, we're working on it. Back here is, uh, these are all one touches. That's 1200 one touches that we are replacing on um, autos as needed. Feels really good. We have all the uh, Jackies, Donnies, and Ricky's all out the door, all before Maguire came, uh, which is great. Trout autos are going really well. Uh, the last two nights we've done a password protected page on the live stream. Uh, now the lowest two tiers, so the reds and the blues are sold out. I wish that I had more. I wish that I had done more, but live and learn. Um, soon, I think tomorrow I will make the I'll tell you what, we'll do this. I'm gonna give you guys a password right now and then I'll change it and I'll set it before I make this live stream video live um, or make this video set as a premiere. Uh, let's see, let's make the password Jackson, J-A-X-O-N. It's my nephew, all lowercase. Password will be Jackson tonight. If you wanna get in on the Trout Autos. Now again, I keep saying this, one card per person 
per color of auto. So you could buy one red and one blue and one white and one orange and one teriyaki. That's okay with me. I don't want you buying more than one. We've already gone through, we've canceled. Um, it wasn't a ton. I think we had four or five, um, four or five people that ordered more than one card. And uh, so we canceled those like we said we were going to. We put those back into inventory last night. Those got scooped up very fast. So again, tonight, please just get one uh, if you want one. Password will be Jackson, proathleteportraits.com slash Millville. And I'm gonna leave that up as the password until I make the page public. And at that point, I will actually take all of the Trout Auto products and I'm gonna move them to the homepage, which has all the other autos, which I know are sold out, but they're just all gonna eventually live in one place. So that's, that's, um, that's the trout update. Uh, I don't know, I have to check. I've gotten a few shipping notifications from Tops. I haven't noticed if it's the Mark McGuire ones. I don't think the Marks have shipped yet. Uh, I, I haven't gotten them yet. And I order my own cards overnight shipping from Tops. So as soon as we get the shipping notification, we should be getting the cards very shortly. We're gonna rip through all of those boxes searching for the gold. And, uh, and then start autographing them. Those ones, like I said before, already have uh, custom painted boxes are done. COAs are all done. The labels are not printed out yet, but they will be printed out before the Mark McGuire's arrive because we'll do that this weekend. That's kind of Mark McGuire status. Uh, then obviously Trout will, will be a little bit after that. Trout was a big print run, so it'll probably take a little extra time for the printing from top's end. end. Uh, same thing there, we'll be ripping those, searching for the Trout Auto or the Gold One of One. I haven't decided if I get a Trout autographed card, if I'm gonna do a dual auto on it, or if I'm just gonna keep it for my PC. I just don't know. We'll just decide. Game time decision. Uh, let's see here. Oops, sorry guys. Um, what else? So this weekend, uh, and one of the reasons I'm going home uh, pretty shortly, uh, hanging out with Lauren because she is headed up to like near the Hamptons uh, with some friends, some girlfriends this weekend. Uh, so I will be here in the studio working uh, Saturday, Sunday. Sunday, Matt and I are pretty excited. We're going to watch the Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa 30 for 30 on ESPN. I believe that airs at 9 p.m. Eastern and it goes until about 11. So we're going to be doing a later stream on Sunday night We'll be doing a post 30 for 30 stream. So it'll be a little bit later. It'll be whenever the documentary ends. Then I'll go on live and we'll talk about that <clears throat> with anybody that wants to. Um, tomorrow night, I will try to do it live. Like I said, I don't have a computer right now. I'm filming this on my phone. I'm doing it all in one take because I can't edit it. I just have to upload it from my phone straight to YouTube. Uh, I do need to sort that out and go get a computer. I have to file a police report tomorrow for the stolen laptop. I don't think that Apple Care covers stolen laptops. I do need to check that out. Um, if they don't, which I think they don't, then I'm going to need to buy a laptop uh, soon. So I'll probably look on Craigslist this weekend and just try and get a used one and uh, be able to stream again, which would be great. Uh, do it live. Uh, otherwise, I'm kind of at the mercy of having one of the other guys stay until 10.23, all the way until it ends, which a lot of times they do anyways, as you guys know, but can't ask them to do that every night, and it's Friday night. Everyone's going to go do their thing. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, Mariana Rivera is cool. Uh, that is my next car. That's on Tuesday. It's going to look really dope. Next card after that is going to be Willie Mays, which will be in about two weeks. And I was just told today the next card after that will be Ichiro, which is also going to be cool. So those are my next three cards. Um, I'm supposed to hear either today or early next week, I should get like my next five or six cards and I'll know what all those are, which will be awesome because I do have some time this weekend to start cutting stencils and it would be nice to know which stencils I should focus on cutting so that I'm like prepared for cards coming up. Um, I don't know, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, just um, stoked. It's, uh, it's been a really fun, fun journey. Oh, Beckett, 
So Beckett article, Beckett magazines, uh, Sports Card Monthly is starting to hit doorsteps, mailboxes, and uh, that's the one with the Maguire on the cover. I don't have any copies yet. Uh, I need to circle back with Beckett. They told me they were going to sell me a bunch at wholesale, but then that kind of trail that fizzled out. So I got to I got to follow up with that and make sure that I can get some uh, some issues. Otherwise, I know Tony ordered ten on Beckett.com. Uh, if it comes down to it, I'll just order them retail um, from there too. Uh, people have been asking if I will sign their Beckett cover. I want to, so as you know, we're kind of trying to come up with a better system for autographing cards, individual cards in red, or sorry, in black, because we just started getting so much mail that's like one card at a time and like from the same person that sent me like three different pieces of mail. And then like, it's just, it's a lot of work to mail them back individually. I'd rather than do them in groups. So we're putting together a process where it's going to be like a form that you fill out online. We want people to have five or more cards send in at one time. Also very critical that you have a self-addressed stamped envelope in the package for the return shipping. That also has to have inc include insurance and signature tracking. Also has to have insurance and signature to me I don't want to be liable for anyone's cards if they're sending me cards and then they say that I never got them or they never got them back. I need that to be insured. So that's just, that's where we're at with that. As far as the Beckett stuff, um, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with Beckett stuff. If, if I see you in person, you know, if we meet at the National, 100% I will sign your Beckett cover. Um, it's just one more thing that people are going to start mailing in and it's just a lot to manage. So. Same thing with the cards. If you guys just can be patient, uh, keep them, you know, I will, we're going to figure out a way to get you an autograph. If you want one on the Beckett, we just have to figure out a really good system for it and for tracking and for like protecting a magazine because shipping a magazine is different than shipping a card. And, um, I just want to make sure that everyone, uh, everyone's happy, which is impossible, but that's what I'm trying to do is everyone's happy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Matt and I are listening to a great Michael Connelly book. Um, don't remember what it's called and it's on my phone so I can't look it up right now but it's Michael Connolly's latest book he does a lot of police fiction and that's been good and it's about this like uh, investigative journalist which Matt was a journalism major and so he really vibes with it and it's like this murder mystery and then it's funny because the journalist like blows up this story that's super popular and then he ends up getting like a podcast deal and launches a podcast and so Mike uh, so Matt can totally vibe with that because uh, that's another thing we're going to be putting some time into this weekend is is getting ready for the Pretty Big News podcast, which will be Matt's podcast, and I will be kind of a co-host sometimes. And we're very excited about that. So we're actually going to take some uh, online courses, basically, about starting a podcast, make sure that we're not missing anything. Right now, our target launch date is 4th of July. That's crazy how soon that's coming up. Um, but I think it's good to have a good, you know, short-term goal that we can that is achievable we just have to put in the work so that's gonna be something that we're doing this weekend uh and i think that's pretty much it guys to be honest um it's a really good productive day just kind of i feel like we've we've tied up a lot of loose ends we've figured out the system quite a bit and uh we're ready for the next you know we're we're like actually ready for the mcguires to come um fanny pack update that's important so my sister, Tess, has been helping me with uh, managing my email inbox and other various tasks. And so because I'd kind of gone back and forth with the original manufacturer, which I'd worked with in the past, but only in very small capacities, um, she is researching, uh, she has a couple more fanny pack companies that do exactly the fanny pack like I want. I'll show you guys. It's got to be all over print and a pocket inside which is where I'll have, it is gonna say like, it'll have my initials uh, or my logo. It'll say Fanny 001, because that, that'll be the first Fanny pack. Um, and that's probably where I'll sign and number it because it'll get the least wear and tear. If I sign it, if I did it like there and you wear it, it might rub off. Anyway, so we're, we are making progress. We're working on that every single day. Um, we are just waiting now and it might be in my email inbox currently, but we're just waiting on a quote from that that other company. Um, as soon as those get ordered, and I'm gonna order them like as express as I possibly can, uh, it will be nice because we'll be able to turn them around quickly. We already have all like one of these shelves. Uh, let's see which one. 
Yeah, yeah. So it's that shelf is all in those is all one touch card art that's like already signed. It's like the super studs. That's the stuff that's being stuffed into the fanny packs. Um, the cards are all ready, which is great. Uh, we'll have the boxes and labels printed out before the fanny packs arrive too. So like that turnaround time is going to be very fast. Um, it honestly, I mean, it's taken longer than I than I'd hoped that it would, but I also like everything with this project had no idea. I had no idea things were going to take off the way that they did. I didn't know we were going to do over 400 fanny packs um, during like an hour live stream, which is insane. And I'm very very grateful. Uh, and I apologize for everyone that's waiting for Fanny, but we're going to be stuffing it with so many goodies that I promise it's going to be worth the wait and you're going to be stoked. And if you don't want to wait and you want your money back and you don't want a Fanny, that's actually okay with me too because there's plenty of people on a waiting list that want one. So, you know, again, sorry this is taking so long. I promise we are working on it. I will keep you guys updated, be very transparent as much as I can, and they are going to be awesome. And, uh, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, Monday, we're gonna do another mail day Monday. We're starting to get a big box of stuff. So a lot of people have sent me mail um, and people have like tweeted at me or sent me messages saying, hey, did you get my package? Um, and I said, well, we have a huge, we have a big Tupperware band of packages. Um, and we kind of, we open them quickly. We vet them to know whether or not it's a black autograph card that needs signed and sent back. In which case we put that into a pile and do that quickly. Uh, other like other mail, uh, we keep in that box to open on Mondays. It's gonna be a new thing that we're doing. Starting last Monday, that was a lot of fun. So we're getting stacked up. So if you did send stuff in, you haven't seen me open it yet. It's because we're waiting until Monday to open it. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I do need to order. So we put business cards in, you know, in with card art. The business cards are cool because they kind of look like trading cards. So last time, let's see, these three were added. Every time I order new cards, I add a few more designs, and I might start taking designs off too, because a lot of the, like a lot of these were the original designs. Um, <clears throat> but we're getting low on these again because we're we're mailing out so many things, and we usually put like two or three cards in each package, um, which I think people are enjoying. So I'm going to add a few more images, uh, maybe retire a few images. So keep an eye out for new business card uh, images. So if you're collecting, like like I have people that literally like made me trades for the whole set. Shout out Mike Smith, I believe was one of them. Traded me a pretty dope card for a full set of business cards. But soon there's gonna be three new ones. So Mike, will uh, we'll figure that out. Anyways, that is it. Uh, like I said, I did this all in one take just because uh, I don't have the capacity to edit videos right now and I need a laptop to live stream, so doing it on my phone. I'm gonna upload it from my phone straight to YouTube. You guys will see it at 1023. I will try and get a new laptop as soon as possible so we can do more live stuff and have fun together. I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, so grateful for everybody uh, that's part of this journey with me. And as you guys know, I hope you stay awesome.